right after the trade or soon after? Um, me and my agent talked about it. You know, I mean, it was just it was just small talk at first. You know, we really didn't think that we had a chance of doing it. And, you know, it just get it just kept getting real serious and kept talking about it. Kept talking about it like a good idea. And you know, we, we, I told him to do what he had to do. Like uh, LeBron said, he gave you a little look last time you guys played. <laughs> it was a little look. Uh, I think I think it was just weird to see me in, in you know in, in a different color uniform. You know, I've been in a couple uniforms for my career. And, you know, when I first moved to Atlanta, everybody said how weird I looked there. But you know, in the Wizards, it was the same thing. So you know, it's just you know, it was giving him a look, Eddie a look. You know, me and Eddie talked a little bit, and you know, he just thought it'd be a good move for me. Was the Heat the clear-cut top choice for you, or was it close between Miami and other teams? Um, it was a clean, it was a clean choice. You know, um, I tried to see where I fit in the best and you know where I could help the most. At, and you know, here looked the best. Mike, from everything we've heard, you've made some serious financial sacrifices to be here. What was it that triggered? Is it simply about the winning? Simply about the championship? Yeah, you know, I mean, um, you know, I'm an older guy now. I've been through you know, all the other stuff before. And, I mean, I think it, you have a great chance to win the championship here. And, you know, like I said, I feel I can help this team. What did your friend and family and people say when you heard you have money? It's really not their decision to make. I make the money, you know, I decide what I do with it, so it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of it. Are they surprised that? Um, you know, I mean, no, not really. I mean, my, fi fi my financial stuff's my business, and, you know, other people try not to get into it, don't really get in getting into it as you guys, so. <laughs> was it tough, though, to give up that much money or not? I mean, it's always tough to give up money, but, you know, I mean, I'm... Which one was this? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> This was the best place for me, you know, as far as winning. And, you know, I went in, I've won and lost in my career, and, you know, I'm at a stage where I'm going to be happy. Mike, when you came in and started going over things here, how much of sort of what they do were you familiar with, and how long do you think it'll take you to get to speed? It's, you know, the defense, is, the defense side is probably the most, most thing that's going to be difficult for me as far as, you know, the, you know, Atlanta's a different type of defense, and, you know, it's a whole different look at the way it is here. I mean, you know, I mean, it'll take a little bit of time. You know, I'm getting get to the arena uh, early, you know, just to learn a little bit more stuff offensively and defensively. So, you know, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be a great game every time I go out there, but, you know, I'm still learning, and, you know, I mean, you can always learn. What have been your observations of seeing this team unfold uh, this, this season? I guess some maybe expected more wins, but they've still been a very good team. What What is What's been your observations of it? Um, you know, you always watch on the TV, you're on TV a lot, and you know, I mean, you, you know, you're just in awe of the way, you know, the way they play. You know, it looks like everybody wants to win. You know, it looks like everybody has the right attitude, and you know, that's what you need to win. When you looked at the situation and what your skill set is, what, what did you think you could help them win with most to kind of get over the top, especially in some of these tight games like that? Um, I don't. I I really looked at it like that, you know, I just I just thought it would be a good fit for me here, you know, you know how much attention they cause for everything else, you know, just read plays and, you know, I think I'm, pretty, I'm a pretty smart player, you know, just get the ball to the guys where, you know, where they need the ball at. You played in Spokane Sack at Atlanta, you've had several all-stars in the same roster, do you think you'll fit in any of this prep ball around several different ball that's on the score? I think so, you know, I mean, I'm not the type of player that, you know, need shots to be effective. And, you know, I mean, I'm going to do whatever it takes as far as, you know, getting getting the guys the ball and, you know, getting people open. I think I set pretty good screens. And, you know, I think I can shoot the ball pretty well to where, you know, they kind of have to respect, you know, the screens that I set and, you know, getting the other guys open. Having an Eddie here already, how much does that kind of help you with the transition? It's good. You know, I mean, Eddie, you know, Eddie, you know, he's really outgoing, so, you know, I mean, as far as seeing him all the time in the summer, um, you know, I mean, this, when I came in, you know, it, it was like like I've been here for a while, so, you know, it, it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Like, Larry was pretty defensive last time he had asked about how the trade went down, and he said he thought, he's kept insisting that the team handled it professionally. I know you said when you were here for the 
watched that Friday that you were looking surprised. Did did you like I mean, did you think it went down somewhat unprofessionally? Um you know, I just felt that you know, out of respect they could have told me that that morning. You know, I seen everybody in the morning and you know, but I wasn't told till it happened. So, you know, I mean you know, it's not a big deal, it happens in this league and you know, it's time for me to move on. Um, we'll see. You know, I mean, I've, I've had a half a shoot around with the guys, so you know, I mean, we'll, we'll see how it is when we get out there. But um, you know, I think I could get them to get them the ball to where they'll be able to get open. You know, try to get them easy looks. When this all sort of break in the day, you know, LeBron and Wayne, a lot of guys talking to practice. Mario said he was behind it, thought it was a great move that you're going to help this team. But hearing that Mario said that. I mean, you could you could you could just tell you could just tell you know that the guys on here are, have a winning mentality, and you know you need that in this league. And you know as far as you know we're all on the same team. You know I'm not coming here trying to do anything, take anybody's mess or anything else. I'm just here you know to help the team win. We're all a team, and you know we're all in this together. Did uh, Pat reach out to you during that process when you were you know, on waivers? And uh, I talked to him afterwards, after I had gotten, um, you know, the bio, so. Yeah, and what was his message, anything that, that you can share? Um, uh, it's really nothing that you guys need to hear, you know, between me and Pat, so. Anything else on that note? Thanks, Mike. Sorry about the phone there, Mike. No, that's all right. I'm much better than that. <laughs>